Well, if you're like me, you're starting off the new year trying to eat healthy and shed unwanted pounds that you put over during the holiday. Well, here to show us low calorie recipes that don't sacrifice the taste is the author of The Spice Diet, Chef Judson Todd Allen. Yeah. How are you, How you my doing? friend? Good to see you. I know. It's been a minute. You were on the show earlier on in our... I, I was. I was on. Here. And I love Windy City Live, so Aww, I'm glad you all brought me back. Yeah, we're glad to have you back because uh, right now, honey, this juice has got to go. Now you look good, as always. Well, well, don't you all think that, that looks amazing? You know what? I'm <laughs> camouflaging it well, but I know what I see in the mirror. Yeah. So, but first, let's talk about you. Yes. You lost 160 pounds. Yes, I lost 160 pounds. Two people, depending, two on, how people. You, depending on how you look at it. Two of my maxes. Yeah, two, right. yeah. And yeah. what was the secret for you? It was, it was clean eating, I mean, obviously. So for me, it was really changing my mindset about what healthy food was. Yes. And I had to dispel the myth that healthy food was lifeless and bland so for me it was all about flavor right so i brought in spices i brought in ingredients to retrain my taste buds and my palate so I can really appreciate healthy food. So that's how I did it. Right. Yeah. And then now you created the Spice Diet. The Spice Diet. And you have this fabulous book out. Yes. So tell us what all the, what in, is entailed in the Spice Diet. Sure. So the Spice Diet is really a testament of my personal story. Having struggled with food addiction, having struggled with weight issues. Mm -hmm. uh, so what I do is, again, I dispel the myth that healthy food is lifeless and bland right. by bringing flavor into the food. Okay. Mm. So in the book, I show others how how to bring that, those that are struggling with weight, and even if you're not struggling with weight, right. if you just want to know about what spices to use for what ingredient to make oh, flavorful works. food. So that's what it's all about. Okay, and you describe food personalities. Food personalities. There are like, what, nine food personalities, yes. and everybody fits one of these personalities. Everybody fits one of these personalities. <laughs> okay, and, can you give us like the top yeah. three or four? Yeah, so I'll give you the, I'll give you the top three. Okay. So uh, when we talk about food personalities, we talk about things that cause these cravings, right? Yeah. You know, you get up in the middle of night and it's like okay look I got this salty food yes. this salty thing that I gotta satisfy right so one of the biggest is, is what we call the uh, the salty tooth right so yeah. it's like you're constantly craving these salty flavors yeah. uh, the chocolate holic Right. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. Everybody can attribute. To that. <laughs> yeah. You know, for me, it was it was the uh, it was the chocolate milk. It was all this other stuff that I had to have. Yeah. Uh, and then one of the one of the top is the um, uh, the food fanatic. So it's like you're always into food, and it's that person that goes, and they cannot drive past a drive-thru without going in there. <laughs> you know, that was me. Yeah. Like the drive-thru junkie is what I call it. Really? Right. Yes, the drive-thru junkie is what I call it. Yeah, I so. think I might be like the cruncher if that is a personality, because yeah. I like I like chips, and I like crunch, and I like to... We call that the grazer. Oh, the grazer. The grazer in the book. So that's the person that has to munch. And they're that's not really easy. eating full meals. They're nope. just eating little bites. But when they really look at it, the bites turn into something that is kind of like, Yeah, the Whoa. calorie count. Yeah. Right. And it now, are there different bigger. ways to combat different personalities? Or is there a fix for all of these personalities? There is. There's a fix for all of them. And I talk about them in the spice diet. So let's talk about, like, the, the person that really enjoys salty foods, right? And that's this can me. lead I us. I like salty food. I love salty mm -hmm. food. I'm like potato chip. You know, like, seriously, mm -hmm. I can't go down that aisle or yeah. I will be hooked. Yeah, I hear you. Know? Yeah. And they tell you that, I'm telling you, when you go down that the potato chip aisle, they say that people spend more time in that aisle than any other aisle. Mm -hmm. You can it. literally spend 30 minutes there. You know exactly what you like. <laughs> but you can spend 30 <laughs> minutes in that potato chip right, aisle like you've browsing. never been there right. before. And you pick up the same thing you want. <laughs> exactly. <already. laughs> now that, I know those aren't chips, but that looks like something that you can fool that yourself. That you can fool yourself And make you think with. it's a chip. These are Brussels sprout chips. Okay. And what I did is I added one of my special spice blends because again, the spice diet, we're talking about uh, really showing people how to bring the spices and the yeah, flavor into food. Keep so, <laughs> talking. You like those? Yeah, it's really good. So, yeah. so what we're doing is we added a little bit of jerk spice uh, Ooh, to I the like Brussels jerk. sprout chips. You call me a jerk? I didn't call you a <laughs> jerk, right? I we were friends. <laughs> we are friends. We're best friends. Right. <laughs> okay. So these, so these are really good. So uh, very simple in the book. You're basically pulling what I call the potato chip of the garden, okay. right? These are oh, Brussels sprouts, outside. and this is the chip. And you bake these in the oven with whatever spice blend you want. Okay. In my book, 
Uh, I feature these are some of my top ones. These are the Cajun spice blend, okay. a jerk spice blend, okay. and this is kind of a, a Mexican flavored spice blend with a little bit of cumin and some other different things. Mm. So you play around with the different spices, right. add a little bit of olive oil on there, bake them. <laughs> yeah, she's in heaven right now, y'all. I'm hungry. <laughs> okay, I'm all damn near hangry. You're just hangry. I love that. Okay. So, so again, these are designed to take the place of you know munching on those potato mm -hmm. chips in the bag. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make that crunch satisfaction. Crunch satisfaction. Yeah. 85 calories. Oh, I'm about to make one these tonight. I'm going to make these tonight. 85 calories. And you say just peel off the... You just peel, you just yeah. peel them off. Can you drop some by my house, Val? Yeah, I will. <laughs> <laughs> and that's start it. Start selling these in the mm -hmm. bag, you know? Drop and roll. You heard it here. When okay. Live. Now, what about if you have a craving for pop? You have a substitute for that. Yeah, so a lot of people are, are, are pop or fizzy drinkers, right? Mm -hmm. Or pop fanatics, mm -hmm. right? I know when I was going through my weight loss struggle, I had to have a pop with everything. Mm. Oh, no. You know, it was just something I had so to do. So much sugar. So much sugar in it. Mm -hmm. So I said, you know what? For the for the spice diet nation is what I call it, and for those that are going out and buy the book, mm -hmm. you know what? I'm going to give you a beverage that you can enjoy. Mm. So this is a blueberry pop. In Chicago, we call it pop. You know yeah. how we do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's a blueberry pop, and no sugar added. All honey. Mm. And what I'm doing is, to, again, it's all about the spices and the herbs, right? Mm -hmm. So I added basil to it to give it that extra bit of something, mm. right? And a little bit of lime juice. With some Ooh. vodka? <laughs> you can add a little bit of vodka in it, too. Okay. That's, the ride. That's what I'm talking about. Tell us about your event real quick. Sure. So my event is coming up. I want everybody to come out. Uh, it's at Anderson's Bookshop. Mm -hmm. It's in Naperville, Illinois. And I'm launching the book. Okay. It's on January 17th. And I want folks to come out, and you all come out in droves. Bring your mama, your cousin, your baby mama, whoever. Okay? Thank you so much for being here.